Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we're going to be featuring a team that took the mummy dust uh, Who is a twi twitch streamer? And I'll include a link to his uh, twitch stream uh, either in the pinned comment or in the description uh, Definitely check him out a very great battler. Uh, he reached rank 10 using shadow sableye This is obviously from season 3 so let's go ahead and take a look at the battles Going against Alpha Feeb, who's also an, a Twitch streamer. Okay, um, not a good mat matchup for um, uh, Tropius since um, the drill packs are going to be super effective and they're very spammy. And um, the moves are okay, they go into Shadow Sableye, um, which probably wouldn't take these. Oh man, is it going to be able to take this drill pack? Oh my gosh, he almost got KO'd. Okay. Here comes Shadow Machamp. They're going to throw the Shadow Sneak. Let's see if this Machamp shields or not. Oh, it does not. Wow, but it actually ends up surviving. Interesting. So I'm assuming the Tropius is going to come back in. And then it's going to be like one air slash. And it's oh my gosh, it actually got to move. This is a cross chop though, right? There's no way. This is a rock slide. It's a cross chop. Still does, you know, a moderate amount of damage, even though it's resisted. Okay, so this Tropius has energy on it. Zapdos does not like getting hit. Oh, actually going into Registeel. Oh man, this Stun Fist is going to clean up. Um, I'm assuming just the switch is just going to occur. Doesn't want to... Well, down a shield is kind of kind of rough, right? And behind a little bit on energy. Uh, they're going to Focus Blast. Does the Mummy Dust have to bait here? Does he have to bait? Oh no, just going to go straight for the EQ. Okay, I'm curious on how this is going to play out. Should be able to land. I guess the Focus Blast doesn't KO, right? Um, and then you need to throw the Flash Cannon afterwards. And with that chip damage. Oh, okay. They go into Zapdos. Try to burn the energy. I'm not sure that's going to help too much. Because uh, they still have to deal with this. Uh... Oh, they go for the Rock Slide Bait. Or the Mummy Dust goes for the Rock Slide Bait. And gets the Bait. Here comes the Flash Cannon. Like, um... But this Tropius has enough health that and enough energy on it. No, it has yeah, a little bit of energy. And plus it will survive one flash cannon. I think this game's over. Um, yeah, it'll definitely be able to survive this flash cannon. Won't be locked on down. Plus they have two leaf blades ready. Uh, honestly, one will why no, I need probably needs to throw both to KO. There's one. Oh yeah, both. Uh, one plus an air slash would have been enough, so. There you go. Second one. That's GG. Coming back from a pretty tough lead um, and was able to, to overcome it. Very nice. Okay. All right. We have. Uh, okay. <laughs> the mummy does prepared this edit for me, so I'm interested in. Okay. So this is a very good lead, especially with Air Slash. Gonna do quite a bit of damage. Here comes. Uh, oh man. This is bad news for this Deoxys. Uh, Shadow Sableye gonna put in a lot of work here. Oh man, normally, uh, normally they'd be able to barely survive that. Um, oh, gonna throw this. They're not gonna. There's no way to say. Does this survive it? It's neutral, but it's gonna hurt a lot. It does not survive it, as expected. Gonna go into Tropius, and this thing is locked in. They're gonna throw foul plays, which is fine. Um, gonna look to chip away at this. At this uh, shift tree and chip away it does okay here comes skarmory yeah this is GG this is like oh man this is like hard counter city well shift tree and tropius is like is bad but it's not terrible um, Sableye versus Deoxys is also pretty bad especially with shadow able to one shot with the foul play yeah, but this game is largely over. Um, just needs to take out this um, this Skarmory, but it does have to be a little bit careful. And okay, was expecting the switch. Obviously, the switch is not happening. Uh, here comes the rock slide and then they're gonna switch right now 
and then just could leap later here but <laughs> gonna gonna no shield flex i think he's gonna no shield flex oh tropius is a monster simultaneous ko with two shields up that's gg all right we're gonna go into this next match tropius into hypno so most hypnos are not carrying ice punch um typically the they'll be carrying fire punch thunder punch uh so i do expect this to be a fire punch oh it's a thunder punch so thunder punch shadow ball oh probably oh my good okay interesting um probably didn't need to make that switch since it was thunder punch but probably loaded the switch already um very interesting grabs the shield and then gonna go back into tropius i don't think they need to make that switch though okay has the leaf blade loaded either gonna burn the shield second shield i'm uh, probably gonna let this go though oh actually does not what <laughs> that actually does not care whoa okay i guess they're going for the rocks oh here comes bastion okay well i think you stay in right you stay in throw a couple leaf plates nope not gonna stay in obviously the hypno is not gonna come into this matchup um they have a shield left though hmm they're definitely gonna shield this right yeah they're definitely gonna shield this and i i think the sable eye can survive to get to a second foul play which is gonna do a pretty good amount of damage oh yeah for sure this is putting in work oh here comes the hypno very interesting switch uh it has one confusion versus of energy now and instantly gets ko'd uh i think you let this go okay no the, the, i think the tropius has enough energy though i guess you get to it anyways that's a safer play i guess that makes sense it's not gonna get to another move anyway so oh man that sable i barely survived i did not think it was gonna be able to survive but it put in a lot of work versus that bastard on all right, Tropius versus Hypno. Okay, Shadow Hypno this time. Again, like most of them are not carrying Ice Punch. Okay, trying to double up. This is gonna be double Fire Punch for sure, right? Um, yeah, Fire Punch does a lot. Here comes another Fire Punch. Gonna let it go still. Expecting a counter to come through. It is Umbreon. Interesting. So Umbreon got one Snarl through. Three more before it gets off its first charge move. Okay. Uh, which is going to be the same time as the Rock Slide, basically. Oh, but they're going to Snarl down. Going to take another Earthquake. This is going to put Umbreon quite low. But it can definitely tank the moves. It's basically at two foul plays right now. It's good to see it now, as opposed to against the Sableye, which is good. Oh, gets the Leaf Blade. Banking that energy. Gonna force the CMP versus the Umbreon. They do decide to shield. Makes sense. They're absolutely loaded right now. I don't know if he's carrying Dark Pulse. Foul play. Dark Pulse. Okay, foul play. Gonna be able to land another one. Did get the Air Slash through. Gonna actually put up the shield this time. And here comes Pelipper um hmm. okay pelipper very spammy with that weather ball okay saying that it can live i i imagine this pelipper is going to shield like there's no way there's no way it doesn't shield right well okay umbreon's gonna come back in i guess that's kind of dangerous umbreon's quite low oh maybe it's actually not that low i think you shield this right shadow claw down Oh man, this is this Hypno's worst nightmare. Ooh, and has no energy. Um, and Sableye double resists the confusions, but they do do quite a bit of damage. I think you can make, okay. Ooh, okay, here's two confusions. Okay, got the energy without taking the confusion damage on Sableye. Uh, oh, it has the move right now. This gonna, that was gonna be a CMP, uh, but able to throw the, the last leap blade and take out Hypno, that's gonna be a GG. All right, we're gonna go into this next match. Tropius versus Skarmory, very bad. 
gonna say swap into uh, Sableye for sure. Gonna be met by a Um Hmm. Not the best situation. Uh, especially. Ah, man, I don't know if it has enough ball to survive all these bubbles, but we will see. Here comes the Shadow Sneak. And another Shadow Sneak coming through. And then Shield and Farm Down. Gonna take Switch Advantage, which is huge. That is huge. Uh, did have to expend both shields, but probably going to get a shield back from this. Oh, here comes g -Fisk. Okay, this is... Oh, man. Oh, man, this is going to be rough. Okay, probably going to get a shield back here or do a significant amount of damage, which is also okay. But this is going to be very rough. The Sableye is going to have to put in a lot of work, which it currently is. Oh, my gosh, the g -Fisk is very low. Um... This Skarmory has to be very careful, though. Uh, it needs to throw three Rock Slides to take it out. This is going to be a close game. Oh, switch. Ooh, okay. You need to come out of this matchup with a lot of energy, but you need to throw a lot of Rock Slides at Skarmory to take it out. Because these Mud Shots are not doing very much damage because they are single resisted. And at what point, uh, it's almost like, uh, it's getting close to Brave Bird range. So the Sunfist can't farm for too long, right? So this is a very delicate balance. You want to make sure you have energy for the opposing Sunfist. Uh, but you also don't want to ultimately get KO'd by the Skarmory. Do you shield this Skarmory? They do. Oh man, they're not able to get to it. This is 27.5%. Uh, so once in the red, that's going to be GG. And then going to be able to land this um, Leaf Blade onto Stunfist and able to almost KO it. Um, it'll survive this Rock Slide. It'll do a pretty good chunk. Put it pretty close to, oh, in the, or in the red. Uh, but the Air Slash coming through is enough to KO uh, the Galarian Stunfist. All right, picking up the big 5-0, right? Yeah, picking up the big 5-0, and we're going to go into the next match. We're going to have Tropius versus Unova Stunfist. Not a very common sight, but this is a very good matchup for Stunfist. It takes neutral damage from the Stunfist. It is throwing resisted damage because the Air Slash is resisted due to Electro Typing, but the Sleep Blade is going to be super effective because of the ground typing. Oh my goodness. Is that actually a Whimsicott? Oh my gosh. It caught me off guard with its whimsical nature. Um, obviously cannot go uh, Sableye into it because the Sableye would absolutely get destroyed by this charm uh, Whimsicott. Uh, but it's likely going to have Grass Knot, um, which mm, it's neutral uh, and has a decent attack. So is going to do quite a bit of damage. Uh, we're going to see whether or not they're going to shield. They have two rocks. Mummy Doss has two rock sides loaded. So shielding would be very ill advised, but who knows? Are they going to. Hmm. I think they're out of shield now, right? They are at no shields. Oh, here comes Fortress. Whoa. Okay. All right. This person is just running all sports, sorts of spicy Pokemon right now. Uh, this rock side is going to hit for neutral damage. Um, uh, either is fine, I guess. Going to go into Sableye. This is probably a mirror shot, but shadow on shadow, it's not going to. It's going to feel um, like a bigger shot. But anyways, uh, going to switch. Go into uh, Tropius. Tropius is going to take neutral damage from Discharge, but Discharge is only like an okay move, so it is only going to chip away at so much but gonna be able to land one more onto the tropius oh no shield very interesting gonna throw this leap blade um this fortress is gonna cmp tie to the mirror shot right should be a cmp oh actually he's gonna farm it down 
Whoa, okay. Whoa, whoa, okay. Here comes the mirror shot. Hopefully no attack debuff. 30% chance of that occurring with mirror shot. And able to take out the fortress. That's gonna be a GG. All right, we're gonna go into the next match. Tropius versus Victory Bell. You love to see it. You love to see it. Uh, they go straight into Sableye. They're gonna met by the opposing Sableye. That's actually not good for the Mummy Dust, right? Behind on energy. Gonna have to invest shields to try to win this match. Hmm. They they definitely have almost double. Um, maybe actually even double because they're pretty slow to the switch. Oh, here comes the second one. Ah, man, you kind of have to shield it. Force to zero shield. This is gonna be rough. But at zero shields, Shadow Victory Belt is extremely vulnerable. Probably gonna air slash down. Could mud shot down, but that's a little bit too aggressive. Um, the air slashes at least do more damage. Oh, they are gonna mud shot down. Okay. Okay. This is an aggressive play. Uh, but I guess this is what you have to do. Because you expect the victory belt to come back out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Very close to the second foul play there. If victory belt comes back in, it's gonna instantly get earthquaked. Uh, but I don't know if it has really much choice because I think there is a bastard on. Oh, it's a register steel. Okay. It's pretty much as good. Um, obviously, this earthquake doesn't one shot like it does against bastard on. Is this a flash cannon? Probably. It doesn't actually KO. Uh, but this Leap Blade is going to KO the opposing Registeel. And that's the game. Very nice. Okay, we're going to go into this next matchup. Tropius into Empoleon. So this is a good matchup for Tropius. Uh, because these Leap Blades are neutral. It does resist the... Uh, um, the hydro can the, the waterfalls uh they're likely gonna throw drill peck here not gonna shield drill peck only you know it's only so strong um tropius is gonna be able to outpace the the empoleon because it takes five waterfalls and it only takes four air slashes to and then the same duration move here comes kingdra okay kingdra can be able to throw that octazooka um, this is very likely Octazooka. It's a very weak move. 50 base power, but super effective. Still gonna be able to chunk. Oh, gets that huge attack drop. That's a two stage drop. So this is like, uh, yeah, that's if, well, obviously 50% less damage. So that is pretty damaging, right? Um, to, you know, it's damage. Uh, actually able to survive the rock slide. Do you want to control switch? Uh, they're saying, does not matter. I have Shadow Sableye. Let's do it. Shadow Sableye time. They probably come in Polion. Does outpace him. Oh man, it can definitely just Shadow Claw down in Polion. And whatever is in the back is in a lot of trouble. What do you think it is? They're actually staying in. And it is a B drill. Reg 10s are running meme teams uh, all day, all night. Uh, this is likely a Faustinger. It is. And gonna be able to land this foul play. This should KO or come close to KOing the B drill. It's very squishy in a couple air slashes. Actually, gonna throw the double resisted Leaf Blade into. Uh, B drill, that is some disrespect right there. Very nice. Um, okay, all right. We're gonna go into this next match Tropius versus uh, Mawile. That is not good at all. Probably gonna go into Sableye. Gonna be met by Ludicolo 
with Razor Leaf. Whoa, okay. Uh, will this Sableye, the Sableye needs one more Shadow Claw to get to the foul play. Will it occur? I don't think so, but it actually does. Shadow Sableye, an absolute monster, surviving with barely any HP left. Uh, I'm assuming the Mawile comes back out. It does. It's going to be met by G-Fist, but this is going to be a pretty interesting match because the Mawile actually hasn't thrown the power up punch yet, so it hasn't actually started uh, debuffing its, um, or start buffing its attack. Not going to shield the first one. Expecting it to power, pre power up punch. I really don't know how you get past this uh, Mawile. I think it'll just sweep the team. I actually probably should have shielded that power up punch, I'm not going to lie, because I don't know how many more charge moves are going to be thrown. Gonna have to shield this. Ugh, this is not looking good. If they shield this, uh, even though it's just a rock slide, it would do a, enough damage that they could potentially air slash down. They do shield. Oh man, this is rough. Gonna be able to throw this leaf blade. Has to hope that it's like a mud boy in the back. I really don't know what you could beat. Well, you have a shield. Ugh, there's no way. There's no way. It's just gonna get confusion down. Okay, gonna throw the leaf blade has two of them ready gonna be able to throw them back to back should be able to live through this but this is not gonna be enough this confusion is gonna be able to take out the tropius in a very uh a game with a lot of fast move pressure um it was just a little bit too much for uh well actually no this game's not over whoa okay i completely forgot he had a stun fist okay oh but it doesn't matter yeah, yeah, yeah. it doesn't matter because it got confusion down well, I, I totally slipped my mind. Okay, well, still a very solid run. Okay, we're going to go. I believe this is the rank 10 battle. This is to secure. Oh my goodness. Into another Mawile. Okay. All right. Here comes Sableye. Let's see what you're worth, the Mamidas. Let's see what you're worth. Can you take out one of the worst leads that, that this game can give you? They come into Azumarill. They're likely going to bubble down. I guess it's better to see Azumarill now. So Sunfist can roam free a little bit more. Uh, can it land another Shadow Sneak? Probably no shield this. Okay. The Mawile is kind of low, right? It took quite a bit of Shadow Claw damage. Going to go to Tropius. Um, did it throw a Play Rough there? Maybe no Ice Beam? Is that what the mummy dust is thinking too? Oh, he's calling no ice beam. And he is right. So this this Tropius is gonna load up. It says, bring me Mawile. Bring me Mawile. And and he is going to get it. This is a power-up punch, hopefully. It is a power-up punch. Mawile is gonna start ramping up. One short of the double leaf blade. This Leap Blade will probably KO at this range. Mawile is very squishy. Gonna save, gonna bank it. Here comes um, G-Fist. Gonna have to shield something, right? There's no way he's gonna not shield this. Yeah, he's gonna shield it. It makes sense. Gonna Rock Slide and then Mud Shot down afterwards. What are we gonna see in the back? So we already seen Mawile. Oh, it is Sableye. Double Rock Slide is gonna be enough to KO. Uh, gonna shield this. I imagine right and then going to double rock slide one earthquake is not enough to ko double rock slide is just outside of ko range uh but it's less energy than a rock slide plus earthquake and then they're only a couple mud shots away from being ko'd after this rock slide lands or one air slash and that is enough for the mummy dust to cross the line go into rank 10 going 4-1 in the final set let's see i don't know if he actually left this part in his game and uh, that's that's it congratulations mummy dust for reaching rank 10 with shadow sableye so a very strong team anyways if you like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see everyone in the